And good morning, everyone. Back here on a Friday, Aaron. This weather is certainly feeling like crock pot soup. Snuggle up, good movie weather. Yeah, we're going to be seeing the cool, pleasant, or the cool weather as well as the wet conditions continue into the weekend. So you may just want to stick any plans or have any plans that you have for the weekend and remain indoors as we do have that widespread rain building back into South Central uh, for your Saturday as well as Sunday. Six consecutive month of seeing above average precipitation currently sitting uh, just about a half an inch above where we should be. For this time of year, of course, nothing like July uh, when we were two and a quarter of an inch above where we should have been uh, for that time of the year. But overall, we're still sitting comfortably in the top five wettest years uh, on record, and that is through uh, yesterday. Uh, and we're not going to uh, add into the mix uh, today until the end of today. But you can see rain continuing across uh, the Gulf Coast region, out towards southeast, out through the Aleutians, uh, as well as southwest Alaska, and then southern parts of the peninsula where we're still holding on to the rainfall as well. So the southern half of the state are really locked in place when it comes to this wet weather pattern. Uh, we're going to continue to see this chance for some rain staying with us uh, well into next week as well. Good news for today, inland locations of south central trending on the drier side. We'll still see a shower or two here, uh, here or there, but for the most part, expect drier conditions compared to yesterday. And then you can see out towards southeast. Uh, beginning to see that heavier rain that you saw yesterday tapering off as it shifts uh, to the south. Since midnight, we've seen anywhere from about two hundredths to nearly uh, uh, fifteen hundredths of an inch of rainfall overall. Nothing significant. Uh, later today, though, we could see anywhere from three quarters of an inch of rainfall for Seward, uh, while parts of uh, Prince William Sound could see an additional one and a quarter of an inch of rainfall. So heavier rain to our south. Uh, and then out towards southeast, you can see six tenths of an inch of rain has fallen in Ketchikan since midnight. Uh, so we're still holding on to some of that heavier rainfall. And then through Kodiak, out towards southwest Alaska, and then out towards Cold Bay, we've seen upwards of about a tenth of an inch of rainfall. So this rain uh, will continue. It's uh, really a, a locked in place pattern. And we're going to see this wash, rinse, and repeat uh, staying with us uh, for the foreseeable future. So temperatures today. Uh, will warm into the upper 40s and lower 50s uh, with this cloudy and wet pattern that we are staying uh, that we are continuing to see uh, that that's going to keep those temperatures at or below seasonal values which for this time of year is right at 56 degrees so rain showers continue across the gulf coast region uh, drying out across southeast before more rain builds in uh, later this evening overnight into saturday and then more rain for in the locations as we welcome in uh, your Saturday, more so towards the evening hours, and then that will continue uh, into the first part of your Sunday as well. So expect to see a wet weekend uh, for parts of the uh, south central as well as southeast. Monday and Tuesday, though, uh, trending on the drier side, and then watching Wednesday where we could see very widespread activity uh, building back into the region as we're watching an area of low pressure. Uh, that's going to affect the Aleutians then here in south central. So rain showers and breezy across southeast. Those temperatures in the 50s. A gust up to about 35 miles per hour looks possible. Uh, heaviest rain near Seward today, and again, some breezy conditions near the coast. We've got 55 in Homer, uh, 50 in Whittier, as well as Valdez, 53 degrees in Golcana. Uh, into the valley, we are going to see slightly warmer conditions compared to yesterday, but still expecting many areas to stay in the lower 50s with some isolated showers. Uh, and then that uh, we're going to see limited sunshine uh, into the weekend and uh, next week. 726 sunrise, sunset coming in at 821. Uh, we've lost nearly seven hours of daylight since uh, the summer solstice. 12 hours and 55 minutes is that daylight amount. And then you can see temperatures into the weekend and next week, 50s. Overnight lows in the 40s. And yes, no sign of seeing any significant dry weather for the foreseeable future. All right, figured that. All right, thanks, Aaron.